What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. Power BI has just released object level security. This is a game changer when it comes to data security within Power BI because this allows you to lock down specific tables and columns from certain report viewers. Basically, you can specify which tables and columns that report viewers are able to see. From a report viewing perspective, they'll only be able to see visuals containing the columns that they have access to. And even further down the line, if they use tools like Analyze in Excel or want to connect directly to a Power BI data set, they're only going to be able to see the columns and tables that they have access to. So if you lock down certain tables and columns from a specific user, it's almost as if the tables and columns don't exist for that user. This is extremely important in making sure that you're focusing on data security within your organization. So we're going to walk through all the steps necessary to set up object level security then we're going to publish this report up to power bi service and view the report through the eyes of an end user to see what they see before we get into it i want to take a quick second to let you know that if you like the video please make sure to subscribe to the channel it is the best way to show your support of the channel and helps me continue to create power bi content also if you like the way i explain power bi concepts make sure you check out my training over at training.bialee.com the link is down in the description so as of right now, I have a finished report. This report is made up of several visuals and several metrics within those visuals. For example, I'm showing total orders, total quantity, total sales as a dollar amount and total customers. And we have a combination of all four of those metrics in the other visuals. Very often I'm asked if I can show users certain metrics, but not all metrics. A lot of times they want to show things like total orders or total quantity, but they don't want to show the total dollar amount to every user. So in this example, we're going to learn how to lock down this dollar metric or anything related to prices within my model. If we take a deeper look at my data in the data view, I know I have to go to my sales order lines table. And from here, I have a quantity column and a unit price column, which is going to give me the total cost of this order line. Finally, I have a measure called total sales, and that's taking a sum X of my order lines table quantity times unit price. So if you think about it, if I get rid of my unit price column and make it to where my user can't see this column, they will have no indication of the revenue that the company has made. We want them to be able to see the quantity column, but not the unit price column. So in this example, it would make sense that I want to lock down that unit price column so certain people can't see that and therefore wouldn't be able to see the revenue numbers. So for a first example, let's go ahead and set up that object level security. We need to go to the modeling tab and then click on manage roles and let's create a new role. I'm going to call this revenue restricted and then click save. And then you can't actually set up object level security directly in Power BI Desktop. You have to have a third party tool called Tabular Editor. So you need to go ahead and download that. The link to download will be down in the description. Once that's installed, you can just click on it via the external tools ribbon, and that's going to load Tabular Editor. One quick note, I was trying to go through and create this object level security, but I had a version of Tabular Editor that was maybe six months old or a little bit older, and I didn't have the option to set up this object level security. So do make sure that you have updated to a more recent release release of tabular editor. Then in tabular editor, all we have to do is click on roles. There's going to be a drop down folder and we see our role that we just created called revenue restricted. If we click on that, we're going to see several options here. We're going to see the model permission. We see that it has read permissions. We can go ahead and leave it with read. We'll also see a security section where we have role of security and table permissions. Table permissions is pertaining to the object level security. So if we click on the drop down arrow, we're going to see all the tables that this role can currently read from. We have all of the tables in my model, including my measures table, and we have a drop down for each of these. So if I want to go to order lines and let's click the drop down here, I can specify which access that this role is currently permitted to have for this table. Right now, default means that I can read from it. Read also means that I can read from it. If I wanted to restrict this table from this revenue restricted role, I would click on none. And that would make it to where order lines no longer shows up in my model for this user. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So I'm going to put that as none and click file and save. And once I save it, I can come back to Power BI Desktop and go to modeling and view as. Then I'll see my revenue restricted role. I'll click on that and click OK. And that's actually going to break a lot of this report because as you can see on the right side, we no longer see the sales order lines table. It's almost as if that table just does not exist in my Power BI model. But that's not necessarily the end goal we were going for. We were looking to remove the revenue from this report for this role. So let's go back and go back to tabular editor. So instead of that sales order lines restriction, I'm going to make that default. We can actually go to our tables, go to the sales order lines table, and we'll see my unit price column. If I click on that, we're going to see similar options here under object level security. We'll see the single role that we've set up revenue restricted. 
we see that that role has the permissions of default. If we change this to none, we are effectively removing this column from that role's permissions. Now, if I click File and Save, and come back to Power BI Desktop, we're gonna see the two visuals that relied on that unit price column are now showing with errors. This was my revenue calculation, and this visual is made up of three measures that relied on the revenue calculation, and we'll actually see that those measures are not even included in my measures table anymore. If I stop viewing as that role, we'll see that I actually have a few more measures here. The three measures that make up this visual are my seven day, 28 day, and 90 day rolling average. I even have a measure called total sales that is totally gone from my model once I switch roles. So we've already set up an object level security role. I wanna create one more role that I think is going to be pretty useful moving forward. I think I'm gonna start uh, splitting my measures into specific measure tables based on who should see what measures. We can actually lock down this entire measures table depending if we want to show someone our measures or not. So I can do that by going to modeling and manage roles again. I'm gonna create one more role and call this no measures. Let's create that, oh, wrong button. Let's click save instead. And now if I come back to my tabular editor, click on no measures. And for table permissions, I can make it to where they have none for permissions for my measures table. Click save. And just like last time, we're gonna see that it's all locked down. So if I click on no measures, they can't see anything from my measures table. It's like it's not even there. That's pretty cool in case you don't want people to build off of your work. I don't know, I can't really think of the use case for that, but I think that might be useful if we are dividing our measures based on specific functions or specific departments, something to keep in mind. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop viewing and I wanna publish this report up to Power BI Service and share with a different user to see what they see. So I'm gonna click on home and I'm gonna publish this up after I save my changes, of course. And I have a workspace called object level security example. There we go. So I'll go ahead and publish this up and give that just a second. All right, it's all published up. I'm gonna to come to my Power BI uh, service here, and I see my new report and data set. Then I need to go to my options and security, just like for row level security. I will see my two roles that I just set up. I care about the revenue restricted role right now. I can add a member here. I have another member called contests at bielite.com. I'm gonna add them to the revenue restricted role. Click add and save. So now if we click on the three dots for either of these roles and click on test as role. Firstly, we can test each role and see what they see. Let's check out the revenue restricted role we'll see that they're not gonna see those two visuals like we saw earlier, or we can search for a specific person, such as my contest at bielite.com, who I provided this revenue restricted role. We see that they can't see those two revenue visuals. That is perfect. So a couple more steps here. I'm gonna go back to my workspace. I'm gonna publish an app. I'll just provide a quick description, navigation. We just have that one report to view and permissions. I'm going to provide permissions to contests at BIELE.com, and I'm gonna leave these options checked. The first check mark is going to allow the user to connect to the app's underlying data sets, and I do want that to happen to see how they're gonna see the data model. So once we've done that, I'm gonna publish this app, and that app will now be created. Now I'm gonna switch over to my contests at BIELE.com. We'll see that I have my login here, contests at BIELE.com. Now I'm gonna to go to my apps. We see I don't have any apps. I'm gonna to go to organizational apps and I see object level securities. So I'm gonna click on that and open that up. So now as an end user, since I'm already assigned to that revenue restricted role, I cannot see anything in those visuals. Even more so if I export this and click on analyze in Excel, it's gonna download that Excel file. I'm gonna open that up. And if I enable editing in my model, I'm also not gonna have access to the revenue items. In measures, we see I only have those three columns and in my sales order lines, I'll search for order lines. See, I don't have any column for unit price. So it even works in Analyze in Excel. Last note here, if I open up a new uh, Power BI desktop file, you can see that I'm logged into my contest at BI Elite account. Now if I click on Get Data in Power BI Datasets, and I select that object level security data set, and I click Create, that's going to connect me to that Power BI model and we'll see, just like in the other example, I'm not gonna have that unit price column. I'm only gonna have my specific measures that are not related to the unit price or revenue. As you can see, object level security is such a big addition within Power BI. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. It's the best way to show your support of the channel. If you wanna check out our Power BI DAX, Alteryx, and SQL trainings over at training.bielite.com, the link will be down in the description. We offer a free seven-day trial for all new signups, and I'll see you in the next video.